Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. In this video, we go to analyze finding oxidation number of iodine in Ki3. To find oxidation number, certain rules are there. We need to follow the rules. According to the rules, the algebraic sum of oxidation number of all the atoms in a neutral molecule should be 0. For alkali metals, oxidation number is plus 1. So in Ki3, potassium it is an alkali metal so the oxidation number is plus 1 here only one potassium atom is here so 1 into plus 1 this is oxidation number of potassium then we have that 3 iodine atom so we don't know now that oxidation number of iodine so we can keep it like x so 3 into x so the algebraic sum because it is a neutral atom should be 0 so plus 1 plus 3x is equal to 0. So keep 3x here and then plus 1 when it goes to this side minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1 by 3. It is a fraction. Actually in reality electrons cannot be shared in fraction. Then this we called as a average oxidation number. This cannot give that individual oxidation number. So we should know that I3 minus ion. Ai3 is an ionic compound has K plus and I3 minus ion. So let us see that how this I3 minus ions are formed. This I3 minus ions that means triiodide ions. Triiodide ion is formed by the combination of iodine molecule and then iodide ion. According to the rule, oxidation number in pure state is 0. So for that iodine molecule, the oxidation number is 0. Then it is a monoatomic ion. So the charge itself, it's a oxidation number. So minus 1. So for I3 minus, that oxidation number is minus 1. So if you look at this, minus 1 by 3. So 3, there are 3 iodine atoms are here. So that is why it is written 3. So the oxidation number of iodine in Ki3 is minus 1. Thanks for watching.